Almost 90% of our dietary fat intake is in the form of triglyceride or triacylglycerol. And 90% of our stored fat in adipocytes is triacylglycerol. Beta oxidation of fatty acids is the major catabolic pathway that produces energy from dietary triacylglycerol or stored triacylglycerol. But look here, that's the amount of fat reserves we have, 15 kilograms. That's nearly 20%, actually more than 20% of body mass is in the form of tags, essentially. This is tags. And look at the number of calories it can provide. 135,000, five times more than protein and uh, more like 140 times uh, the, the, what the glycogen can provide in terms of energy. Lipolysis of stored tags in adipocytes begins with the activation of hormone sensitive lipase in adipocytes. Hormone sensitive lipase can be activated through the activation of the beta adrenergic receptor by epinephrine or norepinephrine, resulting in the activation of adenylate cyclase, resulting in the rise in cyclic AMP, resulting in activation of protein kinase A, which in turn phosphorylates hormone sensitive lipase. Hormone sensitive lipase in the phosphorylated form is the active form. So the activity of this enzyme will be increased during the fasting state when both epinephrine and glucagon are elevated. Lipolysis of triacylglycerol by hormone sensitive lipase produces three fatty acids and glycerol which are then released into the bloodstream. It is noteworthy that hormone sensitive lipase in adipose tissue is only activated by epinephrine through the beta adrenergic receptor. It is not activated by the glucagon receptor because adipose tissue lack a glucagon receptor. It is also noteworthy that tags stored in adipose tissue represent a significant amount of fuel reserves for various tissues during fasting and the lipolysis of these tags and availability of circulating fatty acids is essential for maintenance of the energy needs of several peripheral tissues during the fasting state. During fasting, fatty acids released from adipose tissue by uh, the actions of hormone sensitive lipase will be released into the bloodstream and transported by binding to serum albumin, which allows many tissues to pick up the fatty acids and use them as an energy source. Some of the important tissues that can use fatty acids are the liver, heart, skeletal muscle, but not the brain or red blood cells. Once picked up, fatty acids are uh, metabolized primarily through beta oxidation in the mitochondrial matrix to provide energy for these tissues. 
Beta oxidation of fatty acids is the major catabolic pathway that produces energy from dietary triacylglycerol or stored triacylglycerol. Fat in the diet, which is, as I said, tags, you break down the tags, you get fatty acids, and you get fatty acid beta oxidation. And fatty acid beta, beta oxidation produces energy as well as acetyl-CoA, and acetyl-CoA can get into the TCA cycle and give you more energy. So I just want you to kind of connect the dots here. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.